to just, uh, and it's interesting, it's nice to come from this side because now everything is right in front of you, yeah. right? So let me just ask a question while I'm doing some general uh, uh, listening. Usually we do some machines and those very hard to I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do this right now. But what I was gonna ask is this. Um, when you work IT band, well I'll ask you, do you have a, a tendency to, to go one way or the other direction wise? Uh, I'm, you go that more, way? More and more out. And then if I go the, the other direction, I find it's more difficult. It's more painful. Okay. Is there a certain way? No, I'm just asking. Uh, just, I was, it was just purely. Uh, just How like if, for, if for that day I want to do super specific, I go the opposite direction. So I guess I can cross fiber, but not necessarily. Okay, so we'll do same. Yeah, Because you know compressions are very important. Uh, not only general loosening, but it gives you a sense of it warms the tissue. First of all, people don't do enough compression, I don't think. But also it gives you a sense of where the tightness is. Right? You feel, 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 and you feel here now, here. Compress here. Start scanning. Start compress and compress down. You tell me when you feel tight. Yeah. yeah. So you feel tissue here, right? Yeah. So that's good. So you compress and loosen it some. People are always in such a hurry to right do the technique right away. Uh, this technique, though, the compression, is so good. Loosens up, brings blood in, gives you feedback. I found a question before. I always do like this, this way, give it pressure. So we actually I suppose toward here. I think it's in toward here. Right? Not toward there. Right? Okay. Is that correct? I toward here. I don't you know, it depends. I mean Do you feel pressure this way? Yeah, she's what it ends feel. Yeah. Pressure in here, right? or pressure in But if I press here, you don't feel power, right? If I press here, you feel power, right? No, it's just a different it's different. It's not a right or wrong, I don't think. You have to think quit thinking like that. It's just different, that's all. And see, you know how powerful that is? You know that? Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah. So, just because I'm not jumping doesn't mean there's a power. Yeah, you're using your body really well, leaning in. Okay? Okay, good. Excellent. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, so let's figure out let's figure out how to, how to drape. So yes, yes. I'm not I don't really pay much attention to draping so much. <laughs> I just pull it back, tuck oh, it in. Put it, tuck it in. Okay. I have to feel. I mean, yes, it's okay, uh -huh. right? So she feels okay like that. I feel fine. Yes. Okay. So everything and, and look, everything's covered, right? PG. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. So and you want to you want to come back enough so that you can feel uh, for greater trochanter, right? Okay. Easier strokes with the flat of the fist. Same premise though. Easy. Starts to uh, warm the tissue up. Mm -hmm. But it's so easy. And she feels that pressure. Of course. Right? You take it down to the knee. Easy. Now, remember that uh, the, the band sits over the quad. The quad comes over and sits on top of it. It gets glued uh, down on the vastus lateralis, I think that's the... So it gets glued here. So one thing you can do to help free it up more is not only addressing the belly of the muscle, but also that edge where it interfaces with the underlying quad. So 
you want to find first of all just where that edge is. That edge is is really important because that helps loosen the muscle up, so because it, it gets glued down to the um, to the uh, underlying lateralis, uh, vestus lateralis. So that lateral border is very important to work in my estimation. Okay. So you have a lot of tools there. You know, you could do this thumbing. You could use a brace knuckle to come in. Working that lateral border, nice and clear. Mm -hmm. All right. uh, depending after loosening, then you could do some forearm work. I hold her hand out so she can't hit me with this mm -hmm. pressure's too much. It's a professional tip. You don't want to make sure. <laughs> she can backhand me. <laughs> so I try to keep her hand. But see, it's that once you sink in, you want to try to stay at that level. Mm -hmm. And then the tissue just sort of takes you. And you wait for it to open. And it's like it slides one way or the other. You want it. But it's that constant pressure. See, it goes a little bit one way or the other. You just want to keep the pressure. You're on top of the bend. Hmm? You're on the top of the bend. Mm -hmm. This is intense. Hmm? Too intense. Yeah. Special work is like meditation almost. It's like you have to sink in and just like really hang out. It's like you have to engage the tissue and then it just it opens, it's, it starts taking you. You have to sort of stay with it. You have to be able to feel when it starts going one way or the other. And then when you come to a point of attachment here, it's nice to ease up a little bit. And then, uh, because of the dynamic of how the knee works and how it affects the iliotibial band, I usually then uh, take uh, that work into uh, the peroneals, mostly, because they're the ones that have more of a direct effect, because uh, they share a pretty close attachment. Yes. So you want to lean into the peroneals. And here, what works really well is flat of the fist, and that's in the hand up, where you can engage the peroneals through an extended arm. Stay uh, in tune with your body posture, your breath. So this also gallbladder. So just uh, when doing any myofascial work now, I always think about shiatsu a little bit, and I add uh, this point here on this.
this is the source point for this meridian. So if there's tightness here in the muscle, there's going to be some uh, interference with the way the energy flows through that area. So the source point for gallbladder is gallbladder 40, and that's on that sheet I gave you. Uh, this is the lateral malleolus. And in front of the malleolus and at the bottom, there's a little um, hollow. And you want to take it and press in towards the, um, I don't know if you feel a dull ache there. That's the source point or balancing point uh, for this meridian. So that's the advantage of doing myofascial and some other energy-based work. It actually feels cool. Hmm? You say it feels cool. Yeah. yeah, it helps balance the energy through it. It's interesting, in Chinese medicine, gallbladder and liver are associated with the wood element. So when, it, when there's too much energy in there, it lends to being stiff, like, like solidified in the wood. So you want to try to uh, bring a little bit more flexibility back.